Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on how to pick up items to repair an object or change its appearance so it looks like you're collecting parts uh, to fix something or to change something. So uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, at the moment uh, I've picked random assets from the, from the library and this is what I've got. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with this blue car and we're going to pick up an item which changes it to the red car. Then we're going to pick up another item which changes it to a fixed red car and then pick up another item which changes it into this vehicle. And what we're essentially doing is we're going to get rid of this asset and bring out this asset as objects are collected. So that way you can use this technique for repairing objects um, or changing assets in the game uh, whatever you like um, but there is a lot of potential in knowing this technique so I'll go ahead and begin so at the moment we have this blue car uh, this is the blue car we're going to be repairing uh, we're going to be repairing it by collecting parts and doing th random things to it so uh, I've got a bucket here put the bucket down I want to change the color from blue to red when I pick up a bucket okay so the way we do this is our first we've got to collect the bucket so we'll go ahead and put a collectible on it it's going to be collision and the message will be um, we'll say item dot one because that will be the first item you can collect so we'll go ahead and put that in a collect message item dot one Awesome. Now we can send that message anywhere we want. Uh, we want to send it so we bring out a red car. Now to bring out items or assets, you need an asset spawner. So we'll go ahead and put that onto the car. We'll go ahead and change the spawn offset to its 0, 0, 0. It will spawn exactly where its position is right now. Go ahead and edit logic. And we're going to spawn the car itself. So we'll go ahead and type in uh, car. And it's on page two, ruined red car. We'll select that. Um, and we also want to add a behavior to it. We want to add plant. And the reason we're adding plant behavior is because whatever comes out of the asset spawner has default tags and behaviors of whatever we put. We can't change that. Whatever it is, it is. So if we go ahead and bring out an asset, and apply a we'll get rid of what's on there and apply a plant behavior you can see all it is when we click edit logic is a message to destroy which is the message kill so we can kill off anything with the plant behavior with the message kill so we'll go ahead and add that to our blue car because we do want to get rid of it and replace it with the red car and we'll give it a tag car, car one so we can keep track. Uh, we'll go to our asset spawner. Uh, we don't want to see it uh, because we want to spawn it out after we collect the bucket. Uh, we collect the bucket and we can send the message I believe was item one. So we'll go ahead and put that in the message required here. item one so once once an item one message is sent out this asset spawner will receive it and then go ahead and spawn a red car on top of itself um, we can go ahead and remove collisions so there's no issues with that um, and we don't want to see the spawner so we'll go ahead and turn that off um, and we also want to put the tag car two so we're keeping track all right, so let's test that out. At the moment, uh, we've got the one car. You can't see the red car here, and we're not running into it either. These cars have basic platforms attached to them, behavior, so they're just moving around on their own. Now we'll pick up this bucket, and you can see the red car has popped out, and it's got collision, we can jump on it. Uh, but we also want to remove this car and put that on top of this position. So how do we do that? So 
So this is easy. We'll go ahead and hold shift and drag it so it's exactly on top. And then once you're happy with that, press escape. Now we need to kill off the blue car. So we want to kill it off when that same message is received that brings out the red car. So we can do this by bringing out a message broadcaster. So we put an asset down. Uh, it can be anything you want. The numpads are easier to manage, so I use those. Uh, we will bring out a message broadcaster. We'll go ahead and edit the logic. We want to tick on wait for broadcast, and we want to put in the item dot um, one message. So one we, once we pick up the bucket, it sends the message item one to any item that is listening. So we've got the asset spawner that brings out the red car that's listening. And now we've got this message broadcaster that's also listening for item one. When it does get the message item one, we want it to send a message to specific tags in range. It's going to be car one, which is our blue car that we tagged. Uh, and the message we want to send is kill because it has the plant behavior and that will kill the asset when we pick up the bucket. So I'll go ahead and remove the visibility and uh, let's test that out. So we've got the blue car over there. Uh, when we pick up the bucket, you can see the blue car died straight away and the red car come out instantly. There was no animations, there was no smoke. It just happened, which is really, really cool. All right, next we want to upgrade it again. So we'll go ahead, get rid of this um, asset. We don't need that. Um, now we'll say we'll put on some tires, which then brings out this car. So we'll go ahead and get rid of all the components that are on it and behaviors and make that an asset spawner. This one is car three. And we want to remove the spawn offset so it's directly on top of it. We don't want to be able to see it. And we also don't want to be able to collide with it. Now the assets are spawned would be the car itself. So we'll go ahead and type in car. It is on page two and there's the red car that's not ruined. Again, we wanna add the plant behavior because we're gonna get rid of it for something else. Um, and this time we'll wait for the message item dot two. So we'll go ahead and make this collectible. Edit the logic. And we'll go ahead and put in item dot two. So when you collect up, collect the tires, it sends out the message item dot two to anything that is listening. Okay, so that's now inputted. Select your asset spawner. Go ahead and edit the logic, and we'll change that message that's required to item.2 because that's the message it's listening for now. Okay, so when item 2 gets sent, it will now bring out a red car. Um, so we can go ahead and stack that on top of this pile as well. Um, and we also want to get rid of the old red car. So we'll go ahead and duplicate our message broadcaster. We'll edit the logic. We'll change it from car 1 to car 2. Then we change it from item.1 to item.2. Excellent, we'll go ahead and test that. So all we see now is the blue car. We'll go ahead and pick up the bucket. It's now turned into a red car. We'll go ahead and pick up the tires. It's now a fixed car, but you can see that we still have the ruined car in there still. So we'll go ahead and see what's going on there. So 
So we'll select our ruined car, which is car two. Aha, so what we haven't done is put the tag here, car two. So we have to add the tag for the ruined car that comes out so the message broadcaster can kill it. Um, and that will work. So that means for this one here, it will need a tag three. So we'll edit the logic and put the tag car three. And now let's go ahead and stack those up. Okay, we'll go ahead and test that again. So we've got the blue car, we'll pick up the bucket. It is now a red car, we'll pick up the tires. It's now a fixed car. Excellent. And then we can do that one more time to turn it into something completely different. Uh, so I'll give you that one more example. Go ahead and put down a yellow light. We'll give it the component uh, collectible. Edit the logic. And I guess, again, you probably guessed it by now, it is item three. Go ahead and put that collect message in. And now we just go ahead and do exactly the same thing to this, to this uh, vehicle itself. So we'll go ahead and bring that down. We're gonna remove whatever is on it. Uh, then we're gonna add asset spawner make sure that it's spawning on top of itself. We don't want it to be visible. We don't want it to have collisions. We'll go ahead and turn that invisible as well. We'll bring that out. So uh, what's this asset called? I probably won't be able to find it. Host car, okay. Edit the logic. Go ahead and type post. And there's a the vehicle. Again, we want to give it plant behavior so we can kill it off later if that's what you want to do to the final vehicle. Uh, we want this to be car four because it's our fourth car. And the message for it to come out is item.3. So we'll go ahead and put that in. Item.3. And we can stack that on top. And then all you need to do is duplicate the message broadcaster. This keeps the same message. Now we want to kill car three. So, and then we kill it with the message item dot three. So you'll have to put these items in a linear fashion so the player can't pick them up in the wrong order. There are ways to do it so it is different um, but you have to create specific assets so I couldn't do it in this example uh, but if you wanted to have like a, a chassis of a car and then you find tires and then when you come and look at it it's the same car but with tires um, or a bonnet uh, doesn't matter which item you pick up in what order you'll see that item in the sh chassis um, you have to create the items individually so the bonnet individually the chassis individually the tires individually and then you can bring those items out in your own asset spawner in the exact spot where they're, they're supposed to be on the car. So let me uh, show you this example to show you that this is working. So we'll put in the bucket. It's now red. It's now fixed. It's now crazy. I don't know. They're chilling at the front, having a conversation, having a good time. But that's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions or want to know more, just message me on Discord. Thank you very much.